Hello everybody, just a small video on the Inda 3 Pro. Um, this is my only printer I have for printing. Um, and I've done a few mods as you can see. Uh, the drawers, uh, the hot end, turned in from um, Bowden to Direct Drive. But to make it better, how much money do you have to spend and is it worth spending the money so i thought i mean do i make it linear rod or linear rail well linear rail is still a fair bit of money and it's not just the rails you've got to buy the clamps and everything else to go with it so i thought well i had to put two old printers and i stripped them down a couple of years ago robo r1 and the makerbot ct the wooden version so i have all got the rods and the bits and I use Fusion 360. So I thought, let's give it a go. So for the X, I've come up with this design, which is actually pretty simple. And I can't strip the printer down because, of course, I need it to print. So I have to measure it all, print the bits, and then fit all the bits so it's an operation again to print some more. So... Printed these off, which slide into the rails, top and bottom, and I printed this off, which is which. Well, it took me four or five times to get it dead right um, with the uh, the pinch clamp, and it, it it is perfect. The bolt holes line up. There's a large bolt hole all the way through it for the bolt that holds the triangle bracket on there and there, and it's perfect. As you see, all the bolts have been removed, and there's no play in it. The thing is absolutely rigid. So it doesn't actually need a lead screw that side. Because I was going to pay out 40 odd quid and put another lead screw in. Well, I don't really need it now. So that's a bit of saving. So at the moment, all it's cost me is my time and PLA for printing. And of course, yeah, time again for fusion. So we're going to go over this side. Now this side will be similar. Um... Instead of it sliding into the rail here, basically it will slide into the top and then come out a bit further. Because remember, on the X, we have all the motor drive, and this is all going to stay in place. Same as the extrusion. So there'll be a fork, which will come over the top here, in between the motor, and use the original bolt holes, same as the other side. Um, and the bottom will be slightly different again, where it will go in the two grooves, slide all the way through, but of course you've got four bolts, so it will have an overhang so you can slide it backwards and forwards. So I thought, great. I thought, then we got to do the Y. Well, the Y is actually quite easy. It's actually easier than what you think, because I can use these, which will still slide into the rail both sides. So two in the front and two in the back. I have got to watch the stop switch. Um, but I can get around that. And then basically measure the two holes underneath for the wheels. And basically make basically a part exactly the same as this. To go underneath. And that will sort the Y out. So that's actually pretty easy. Which would be nice to do. And then basically it's just the X. And it's the same thing again. Once this is done that will be absolutely fine. So if we come over to Fusion, basically this is the top part, which is sliding on the left at the top. As you can see, you can see the two, the two rails which slide into the extrusion, which is absolutely fine. And then if we look at the other part, that is the wrong part. There we go. So basically that is the part to go on to the left in the middle. So as you can see, it's like the right hand side. It sticks out slightly further because of course it has to miss all the motor mount. And it's narrow at the bottom because the motor and its cables come out. So it has to miss. So basically that is done. So basically I've actually got one here which I printed off as a test. So if we look at it, 
And there it is. As you can see, the bearings are pushed in nice and not too tight. And the pitch pole is pinched them up and it's not over pinched. So I reckon it's a pretty good design. Only thing is, the arms are too short. There you go. Or make these mistakes when you're designing parts. But that's okay. The one on there is a revised. So it's not a problem. And it's ready to print. I shall do it tomorrow. So that's how I've got so far. Hope you like this video. Uh, and there will be an update later for it. For the rest of the printer. So please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe. And perhaps become a Patreon. So thank you very much for watching. And see you later. Bye bye.